Hi Amy, how are you? Uh, I thought I'd rather give you a tour uh, by video than the photos so you could see better how everything is around here. Enjoy! So, you've already seen this one that, that's grown nicely. There is a nest there, so I thought it's better not to cut the uh, leaves. Uh, this one's still small. Ah, there's always a bird sitting up there. The small pear tree now has lost uh, all its leaves, but I think there's already new ones coming, so... I think it's just normal after after the fruits went. Uh, here's the nurseries. I think I sent you good enough photos. To so these ones and these ones are all mine but they don't seem to have little plants yet <laughs> so now we are on the field on the right of the house so there's a lot of big bushes here flowers on the trees and bushes and a lot of new leaves everywhere but either it's the degus or the hairs I don't know there's a lot of bitten pieces as well but I think everything's just growing fine there's a couple of things that don't grow as well even so I try to give them extra water like here but most of the stuff is really doing great last night it has rained again so there should be enough water for everything This part still has a lot of young plants, but they are all doing exceptionally great. I think there's a lot of water coming through here every time I open the, uh, the key, or how do you say that? Fresh young green. Oh, and I forgot there's like three or no, like six plants further up in this direction. They are also doing good. Now we are on the field on the left side of the house. Here everything's doing re very well as well. You can see new fruits flowers everything's getting a lot of water now we're back in the middle and the mint starts growing again after the day goes ate it. <laughs> we come down the path towards the cooking hood. And as you can see the trees are already 
quite big and it's actually very nice to sit in the shade outside the hood. Everything nice and green here as well. Yeah, this tree is actually giving nice shade to sit there. Uh, the stove actually is an old stove of Nora's, she told me. There's even some olives on here. There we go. See? Ah, you can't see it. But well, there is olives. <laughs> riverbed. I've just finished laying out the tube so I will start giving water to those plants down here that are all quite dry uh, today and tomorrow and then I guess Rigo will go on with that or the next volunteers if they are showing up and, and tomorrow Rigo and I will plant the posts so I've already made all the holes and I can show you what area will be covered. So this will all be one big enclosure until here. So all the way down from there up to here and then there will be a second one from here up to this point. So it's going to be two quite big enclosures. So this is the enclosure that is a little higher up, as you can see, and plants are growing quite well here. And down there is the are the others. I hope you can see from up here how the plants are doing. You can see they're all still small, but a lot of new green. They've grown quite a bit since I came here, and now with the rainy season starting, hopefully they will get a lot of water to grow further. I watered them quite a lot, so every plant got water every five days. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed.